Let's start off the day big, mate. Oh, you got, oh, that might go in. Oh. A warm welcome to you all ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the third and unfortunately the final Bernie Dockers match day vlog of 2023. What a journey it's been throughout the year, but great to be doing another one of these for you guys again. Today we play our last home rostered game for the season against the Alverson Robins, who were in some pretty poor form. Us Ross, after two close wins in a row, puts us into the top two and looking for a win today to almost secure a spot there. Unfortunately for us, that wasn't the case in round 14 and obviously week one of finals. But it doesn't matter at all if you do go on to enjoy today's vlog and would like to see my journey throughout the Bernie Dockers next year because it's a while away. We'll aim for 50 likes on this video, but anyway guys, let's not waste any more time and get into the first quarter. So the first quarter wasn't really the way we wanted to start, but I saw this one on the bench, and unfortunately off camera, the first few scores weren't shown, but the Robins have an early 7-6 lead. I don't know who kicked our first goal, but anyways. Ball was a bit of everywhere for the first couple of minutes before re-entering our forward and went towards Cadell, our full forward, who ran onto it and kicked our second goal and put us back in front. However, it wasn't long for Alwison to respond as the moment came where I ran onto West Park over the career went absolutely crazy. I'm kidding. Anyway, Alwison quickly to respond even if the ball came into our forward 50. They found a way to get it out, but luckily only got a point. Nothing really happened in the next couple of minutes. The ball just stayed around all the parts of the middle of the ground. Uh, later, the Robins got onto another look at a score, but again, only a point. So after that point, the closest we got the ball was only to the wing, but then unfortunately went out on the floor, and then the only bloke wearing long sleeves, well, there he is for the Bernie Knockers. I got my first touch, however, trying to slap the ball forward like I always do, and then like pick it up straight after, but Alvi was successful in the end of that, and then the result of that, it was a hold the ball, and Alvi got a mark like 20 meters out directly in front of goal, and kicked it too. Ball went up again and just got a court holding the man there and the Robins went inside 50 once again. It hits the deck, comes out however and Reese picks it up. But the um says high tackle and they kick another. Yeah, nothing really went away for the first couple of minutes and then uh, towards the end obviously and then obviously would find a way to kick a fourth at the end of the first quarter. So lots of work to be done but only 13 points but we won't wait, we won't waste any more time and get into the second quarter. To be fair, I've completely forgotten where I was playing. I might find it later, but the second quarter, we got an early forward entry, but Olsen from another two weird free kicks got it away. But we soon got it back in our 50, and we got a ball up on a slight angle. And some clean heads there from Louis. Picks it up and has a snap for goal, but there's an Olsen player waiting on the line, but he dropped it, and we got a point to start off the second. No major plays happened for a while. Cadell got a market full forward, however, missed to the left side. Olsen, well, that was sloppy getting it out of their back line, and the result of that handball to Louis who was in a better spot and we have a goal in the second bit of momentum there and honestly I think we started to pick it up right after that because I know only one goal was just kicked but there was two more behinds for us however moments later Caleb managed to snag this goal literally from one of the tightest angles he snagged this it's absolute beauty of a goal Anyway, I also got the clearance after, but Johnny was in a better spot and took a mark, which we had a great play down the middle of the ground and got the ball into the pocket where it went out of bounds. And Tyson, who played this well, he got the ball out of the tackle to Stubbs. He got a shot for goal and kicked what was a great team goal from all the way in the back line to the forward, and we've got another one. And look, it just started to rain goals for us. One from Reef from about 40 out on a right angle. This crazy skilled goal from Tyson. I mean, that defender got sent to Hobart, I swear to God. And then after Tyson's goal, it was Cadell once more who picked it up and snapped around the body and added another goal to his name for the game. Although Alverson got an entry into their forward from a free kick, Louis gave it a short kick to get it there. I think it was marked by Henry on the wing and he gave it back to Louis who just sprinted down the ground, set up to half forward where Marcus came out of nowhere to take this mark. It was absolutely excellent. He looked for Tyson outside the pocket, he picked it up and kicked to full forward where Cadell took yet another mark and lined up for I think is his third. And where, of course, he kicked it, and that was half time. What a quarter from the lads. I don't know if I missed any scores or not, but at half time, we lead by 33 points. Look, just hopefully we keep it up, and maybe I might even get my hands on the ball. Oh, let's go to the third quarter. I don't know why, but the center bounce and probably like the first three minutes of the third quarter was missed, but we move on. It started now forward, and we kicked a point, and Alberson, well, they really showed some aggression early in the third, and they did manage, thanks to another free kick, kicked their first goal since the first term, and off camera also kicked a point. They truly kept fighting in our back line, but we still managed to keep them from getting on the scoreboard. The ball lurked around the middle for a while in that quarter, 
before entering our forward once more. Sarisi kicked towards full forward and went in the hands of Stubber who snapped around the body and kicked a goal. Another one on the board for the Dockers. Olsen, they had a chance as they got the clearance, but Reese's body came in clutch and got it onto the wing and resulted in a ball up. We got the tap and bombed it towards the centre half forward where Callum got a free kick for a push in the back. Passed it off to Max in the middle and then Max put it to centre half forward where Marcus is there and takes a beautiful one-hander mark. Pumped it in long, the ball hits the deck but Stretz managed to pick it up. Kicks to full forward where Louis was in a great spot. Went back and nailed another one for the Dockers. I don't know why, but there was no recording footage after that. But the next goal came from Caleb, and he kicks his second of the day. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why there was no footage there, but anyway. Obviously, we then get the clearance and got another score. Lucky for us, though, it was only another point. We got it to the center of the ground after that. Deegs, he chucked it on the boot to Marcus, who dropped it, and he does the same thing, chucking it on the boot, and a mark is taken. Wait a minute, that's the bloke making this video. Pressure all around, the stands buzzing, all 70 plus or so people that have came out to watch this game. They have waited for this moment since round one. Football sirens, he has... Uh, not this year, folks. I'll send it a one-goal season, but what an outstanding quarter. We had a huge lead now, and I'm definitely that'll send us deep into August because our finals are literally played in August. But now, it is time for the last quarter. So for the last quarter, I played backline, and to be fair, I haven't played backline since I was full back in the under-12s in the 2020 season, but anyway. We started the quarter off well with the clearance and Deegan marking it at half forward, and having a shot from 50 out. I mean, if he thinks he can make the journey, like, go for it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, he's kicked a goal. What a goal from Deegan. He's kicked one from outside 50. Miraculous stuff there from Deegan. Olsen eventually got another forward entry, but we quickly got it out and back down the line where the ball found Cadell, who's just had a superb day at the office. Can you make three goals for... Oh, you bet he can. What a what a game he's played, honestly. This is just great stuff from Cadell. Olsen got a free kick right after the centre ball up, but coughed it up at half back. Rance getting the small kick away towards Deegs, who pumps it down the line. I think that's Reef there giving the hands off to the run of Caleb. He's having a shot from the pocket, but that one will be missing though. Could have kicked two miraculous goals today, but no worries, he's had a really great day. Also went straight down towards the wing to get the ball out, but again, coughed it up there and was marked by Johnny, who sends it to the boundary line at half forward, to Mitty, to Caleb, to Stretch, tight in the pocket, don't tell me. Umpire's thinking about it, he clears it for a goal, that is Eddie Bet stuff there from Jacob, great goal, adds another one to our tally, and the lead continues to expand here at West Park Oval. I then moved to fullback, which just gave me heavy nostalgia for under 12, I was playing at 9.30am in the cold mornings in Tasmania, bloody hell. We kicked another point, I didn't see who it was though, but that doesn't matter too much, I was then kept on passing it around the wing before coughing it up, then we coughed it up, then Iverson coughed it up, then we... Got a mark, went down the middle, and then coughed it up. And it still works out, then we enter the forward line, have a shot, and ah, fish crackers. Olsen got a set shot later, but I did something by touching the ball as he kicked it and didn't score, and Reese cleared it onto the run of Morrow on the wing, who then it got over to Marcus, running into forward, but unfortunately he missed. I think Iverson got a goal off screen, but it doesn't matter too much. They got the clearance, ball came back into their 50, ball went to ground, and then there is a ball up. Or not. The Dockers go 3-0 for match day vlogs in 2023. A huge win against the Robins, and we moved to second on the ladder, but obviously we didn't record the last two games of the season, but that is alright. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and remember, it'll take a whopping 50 likes to see this return in 2024. So hit the like button if you have not already. I'd also like to congratulate the boys watching this that are moving up to the Bernie Dockers under 18s next year. You guys have had an absolutely amazing season. You're absolutely elite blokes and wishes all the best. Thank you all for the support. Thanks to Adrian, our coach, for asking me to do this vlog. Couldn't have done it without him and been an absolute pleasure doing this and all hats off to him for it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.